earned their money that we've raised, and they are going to tell you about seeing you at home, okay? So I will let them get to work on that one and introduce themselves and get out of the way. Well, thank you so much for having us. This is my first time in Fisher, so I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, you guys have a really nice school. I get to walk around a bit. Your teachers are all amazing, right? Yeah? <laughs> all the teachers. All the teachers. collecting money for us, but we want to tell you a little bit about what we do and how we're going to be using some of those items and some of that money. I brought Laura here with me today and Rick, and so they'll answer questions too. So See You at Home is a homeless ministry, and what that means for us is that we help people who are experiencing homelessness. Those people have found themselves in the situation of not having their own home for many different reasons. But one of those reasons, um, probably the most common reason that we see, is that people have experienced, your age and sometimes younger, abuse or neglect. And so when they were young, like you all still are, they didn't have anybody to teach them skills or how to live. They often found themselves as children homeless. And so when they get to be adults, they don't know how to have a home. They don't know how to go out and get a job because that was not their experience from a very young age. And so what we do is we begin to work with these adults and we try to understand what happened in their childhoods. We try to understand what skills they do have and we try to help them think about what a future might look like if they had their own home and if they had people in their lives that supported them and care about them and help them take steps to the next level. So it's very exciting for us to do that. It's very exciting for us to see people take steps forward and do the hard work to go from living on the streets where oftentimes they're introduced to people and situations that are not good or healthy for them, um, to living on those streets, and then eventually to finding their own home. So our program lasts between 12 and 18 months, which is a long time, but we need all of that time because most of the people we're working with do not have, like I said, any skills. They do not have the ability to think about how to manage their money or to get a job. How many of you are already thinking about what you want to be when you grow up? Yeah, a lot of you, some of you, maybe not yet, right? But the people we're working with, they didn't have any thought about that. They didn't necessarily think about, am I gonna be you know, a doctor, a policeman, do I wanna be a teacher? like the amazing teachers I have, because they were busy surviving. They were busy thinking about, I wonder where my next meal will come from. I wonder where I'm gonna sleep tonight. And so they didn't think about college or trade school or what they might do. They just had to survive day to day. So we wanna leave time for questions. Laura, is there anything you wanna say about the program that we do or? No. I, the one thing I do want to say is I I know when I was I grew up in Chicago in the big city and I know when I would I would walk around and I would I would see homeless people and I would um, I, I would be kind of scared of them or I would be like well who is that and why did, why are they on the street like that and what's wrong with them um, and through my career in working with people who have um, maybe sometimes some mental health issues or even some some substance abuse, some drug issues, I realized that it's it's not uh, it's hardly ever their fault. It's, you know, it's one bad circumstance after another. And if we take time to really get to know them and figure out how we can help them best, sometimes uh, they don't even know that they should take a shower every day, right? And that's something that we all, well, almost every day, right? 
right? <laughs> um, that's something that we, you know, there's just basic stuff. And now I walk, and I go back to visit Chicago, and I walk down the street, and I have a much better understanding that, you know, that I that we can do a lot to help them, um, but it has to start with teaching them skills first.